and welcome we're back. back, everybody. <laughs> uh, welcome, welcome. Up. CGCC versus MCC. This is our second game. We're looking at King's Row. So King's Row is uh, notoriously great for CGCC. That's probably why they picked it. They wanted to p win the second game because they lost the first one. Hopefully, they can crawl their way back up to the victory position. What do you guys think is going to happen this game? Well, I would be inclined to agree. Both that CGC is probably trying to win, and that notoriously and amazing are in that fact antonyms. Yeah. I'll see this Excellent. Resolved. What about you, Marmel? Uh, How do you believe this game is going to turn out? Oh, I'll have to say, it looks like they're starting with a farmer, see? And oh, we're in the oh, they do have capacity. Hey. Farmer oh, Mercy, a classic. A classic duo. Almost can almost not be unless you do have a Cassidy and or any other precision characters on the team. Well, we'll be able to see whether or not the MCC Cree will be able to hashtag no fly the pharmacy. Exactly. Put them on the no fly list. Fun fact: Did you know that if you're on a plane, they are legally allowed to duct tape you to chairs? Oh, that's not that's that's that has happened to me once. It looks like that's an aggressive push. One of these CCC trying to get on the I was thinking of that day, but I think they're going to take this ball off. Sticky position there. It looks like they're doing heavy, heavy damage on one of the tanks. Mercy is desperately. Oh man, the DGC Mercy kind of clean though. Desperately trying to keep that tank alive. Might be playing way too Important to note that both of the CGC D1 uh, supports actually happen to be sitting against me, and I should let you know, regardless of their great plays, their faces are entirely dead. Oh, yeah. I think they're focusing way too hard on the match. There has been zero emotion for the last 40 minutes, and at this point, I'm getting worried. Oh, there are no emotions. might have to call my car is picked off. It looks like GCC tank got walled off, almost died, but was saved by the first one. Hanzo trying to get a kill, a kick in here. He's got the Mayfix. That might be big. I mean, the amount of balls he's seen. That might be big. Man, we are two ults up on both sides. Currently, CGC has the player advantage. They're being able to... Oh, yeah. Big takes, big takes. Yeah, they're getting... Yeah, MCC is getting kicked off by CGCC. Can they keep this momentum? We're about to see. Looks like MCC is gearing up. They're grouping back up for a big, big resistance here. Can their Diva play? Are they going to dive with the Diva? That far is just giving no strength on the other team. Holy moly! No doubt, play of the game. Oh, boy, yeah. It's, it's even more impressive. It's even more impressive when you consider that the bar is actually playing with their toes. Not really, but you were too way too excited at that. That ride is going for an aggressive resistance. Ramasha is trying to push him back. He's at half. Can we get that final kill on that Ryan? All lessons is pop by the CDs. Pfizer also comes out. Mercy is mercy. Looks like. Oh, it looks like they got 
man, this reminder is getting helplessly pushed back right now. Helpless, helpless. He does have his ultimate. Will, will that save him? All their supports are going. Down. But maybe. He, he does have his team behind him. Can they retake? It looks like they got pushed back from the cart. Oh, they got a far mercy of their own now. They do. Looks like they're fighting fire with fire. Yeah, I, I wouldn't be surprised to, to see if CGC was able to capture the point now. They just used consuming it. Rams push up, Annihilation oh, comes out again. Oh, no mercy for the squishies! Can they take care of that Farah? The team Andrew kill. Care of the Farah. Team kill! Oh, could this be the end of the game? This might be the end of the game, they might not be able to touch in time. Reinhardt's going in! They, Reinhardt's touching! Nope, Reinhardt's dead! Looks like they're trying to Far is, Far is desperately holding this point down. Oh, two are down with... Holy moly! I would say oh. Far might be the MVP of that game. For, For sure, yeah. Well, that first round goes to M or GCC, CGCC. Nope. There we go. All right. It looks like we're switching sides. This looks like CGCC is now defending. MCC is now on the attack. Let's see. Yeah, yeah CGCC MCC. going in with that impressive attack. Still have three minutes on the clock. Even if MCC manages to win, it feels likely that CGC will be able to come out on top. Also, C, 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 just to say it a couple more times. C, 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 C. I see. Looks like they're still going with that far of mercy. Oh. Looks like huh? they switched the tank from a ram to a sigma. Hopefully we'll get some nice cheesy toe shots in this round. Okay, creep. Anyways, it's a really interesting <laughs> way to see a potential poke comp come into this game, especially since it's not the meta right now. I'd, I'd really love to see that work. I love a good poke. I love a good poke comp. There's nothing better than that. Hitting the squishies and seeing them die before you, it's awesome. It's great. Yeah, as a tank. That far of mercy is definitely is fatal, way fatal. Way more fatal than I thought it would be. But that's just it's what you get with fire of mercy. If left unchecked, the flames are. Looks like that Anna is desperately trying to keep Hanzo and Diva alive. Diva might Making be going for like a high dive. ground. They're slowly gonna move their way up. It looks like until. Oh, Anna gets picked Ooh. off. Diva is running away. Does not want to die. Protecting that. I think that's actually from the for the revive. Mercy dropping res, but they're still down one, waiting for a teammate to revive. That Mercy has to come back and try to get some takes down. Yes, Mercy DPS. There's explosions explosive left and right. It's something like a Michael Bay movie. Yes, too many explosions. Way too many explosions on the field. Very distracting for both teams, I would assume. All right, gets another two picks. That far Mercy is just devastating to the back line of MCC. What can they do about it? What can they do about it? Looks like they're switching from Ana. Oh, they have a they have a, a Widowmaker now. They're That's gonna put a lot of pressure. Of far of mercy. Hopefully their aim stays true. Let's take a look at that Widowmaker. Let's see. How's her aim, people? Better than mine, definitely. Oh, let's see. You know the thing, 18 shots, one body shot. Oh, you know, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. A kill is a kill, people. A kill is a kill. Oh. Looks like that Sigma is down there. Holy moly. That Widowmaker looks like it's doing some damage already. Oh, oh Junkrat goes goodness. down. Two kills off the bat. Two kills off the bat. That Mercy's about to go down. Oh my god. Widowmaker yeah, the Widow absolutely popping off. Widow secures the kill. Looks like Man. CGCC is going to have to play around that, that Widowmaker. The only way I'm able to compare the way that Widowmaker just played is when a Kiwi is put in front of me. It's the way I devour it compared to how that Widowmaker was able to devour the enemy teammates. For sure. Devouring yeah. all the squishes. Even the tank took out the Sigma in two shots. Oh, don't underestimate the headshots. Don't underestimate 
That's what I've learned over the years. Do not underestimate a good one, okay? goes down, looks like we're even a lucky back. Both teams have their like revival. That diva is in the back line, but the back line for safe. Oh, they're getting out of there. Work on that tank. And the shield. I didn't know you could eat the rock. It is delicious. I don't believe you could eat the rock. Our defense matrix is rock. It is a projectile. Yeah. Well, we've seen a lot of projectiles. Well, in my experience, I've seen a lot of projectiles. Oh, shoot, that Junkrat's in the back line. Trying to get a, an easy kill with his, his tire. Just Looks got like... destroyed by the D.Va. Okay, okay goes down, but looking... the trade is still Diva very much. Good eyes. And yeah, D.Va being able to get the pick on the Junkrat, but sacrificing the position they had on the payload. I believe they get easily grab that back with a good positioning. And the easy and the great mobility that even does that. Looks like has... they switched at that middle way here. Yeah, I was just about to know. Guys is going in. They, they pop back. They are taking that cart though. They have a, they took back their position on the cart. I'm also wondering okay. if this diva is going to use their ult soon because they have had it for quite a while. Yeah, it looks like she. They are uh, pulling on for trying to find a good position, a good place to do. That rocket barrage takes out that Sigma. Nobody else. It's like they... That still could be okay. That Diva at half health for a long time. They might use their ultimate here. It looks like they're going for a suicide rush. They're holding them up super far. They know they don't have a tank. I feel like we definitely should have seen at least one Diva ult on this match by now, but we'll see. Maybe they know something we don't. That far it got shut down before she could really use her ultimate. Sigma! Oh, Sigma dropped into the hole! What a blunder! What a blunder! That's our tactical reset. Looks like they're doing a tactical reset. He was going for a different position up on the top. And pressure up Try to take out the squishies where they can. At half health, desperately calling for a mercy heal. Looks like they did get it. Focusing on that Baptiste. Oh, Revetta Clux. Sigma ultimate got shut down, aka he got killed. Well, are we gonna see the ult? Nope. Looks like they're back Looks like MCC Mercy. MCC but, Mercy is desperately trying to keep their team alive. Yeah, MCC four. currently is up to ults. But they are going against the Mercy Baptiste support, which may be able to heal with current meta. Very strong. You're right, you're right. Oh. I'm desperately MCC looking to try to see where that Diva can use, can use her ultimate. She has had many, many times where she could use it, but just holding on to it. Farah got to use Farah her gets two her ticks. Take it three down. Down. Back line. get the res off on Hanzo though. Got off the res off, but Diva shut it down. Uh oh. What are we seeing here? That Diva going in. Diva's holding up. High noon! Perhaps Diva's been saving his ult Canceled. right now? Maybe? This would be a good time, Diva. I recommend it. The guy comes out. Uh, There's a lot happening. Ravidic Flux comes out again? That was fast. Try to take care of the Diva. Diva, press Q, Diva! Please, Diva, please. Right here, Lucius! Oh, pick up the Lucio. That could be a good pick for the last mark. That Sigma nowhere, knew where to position that you. Oh, that Diva oh. went for a suicide. Yeah, it's That's okay. Point, baby Diva did stand on the card for a moment. She was, uh, I think someone... she was maybe trying to get killed, but maybe not. Perhaps just shocked by the fact that they were actually able to take her after she played her ult. Yeah. Maybe just shocked by the fact that she played her ult in the first place. <laughs> shocking. It's shocking to see Diva play her ult. Oh, Hanzo oh, down. Oh my goodness. They tried oh, to wall off that Hanzo. Diva from the rest of her team. Not quite, though. They're going for a big kick. Big push, big push for NCC. Oh, it's in like an elevator absorb. Try to take out that Mercury. Can they take it? That Diva is walled up from her team. 
Diva, my turn to a baby Diva here. Yeah, Diva's out of mech. Diva is dead, their team is dead. Oh, only 30 team. seconds left to be able to take. We're having to move through an old to the fast. Holy moly, that Diva got revived and took out the Sigma! A lot of damage coming out. That sneaky revive. Oh, and we're seeing the Hanzo, can Hanzo revive? take it? Hanzo got oh, immediately the, destroyed. The ult, but the Valiant Hyper was seemed to run in. Oh, Looks that was like a very close guys. match, with MCC still being able to take the capture. Fortunately to note, there's still four minutes on the clock for CGC at this time, with the one minute boost given from the less than one minute final cap. Okay, let's repeat it from ourselves, people. That CGCC is notoriously great on King's Run. We saw it on the first round. We didn't see it too much on the second round, but on this third round where they're attacking yet again, hopefully, MCC learned their lesson from the first round and can hold a defense against CGCC. But we may not see that. We may see a third round tonight. I see a Sigma. Oh, we see a Sigma see. Baptiste and McCree from GCCC. We still have two people to pick. Got a Lucio in there. It looks like MCC is going for that Far Mercy again. With CGC so you're ready to shut it down as well. Yeah. Oh, they're switching from Lucio to a Kiriko. Could this be cru crucial? Could be this could this be critical to them winning this third round? Maybe, maybe not. I'm curious to see how the Diva plays it again. Yeah, absolutely. We have a very interesting tank matchup right now that I'm definitely excited for. MCC going immediately for the far oh. Got immediately shut down. Immediately shut down by that. Exactly. But revive again. We call that a no consequence revive. Uh, Kiriko goes down. Diva going aggressive. Going aggressively for that Hondo. Can, not, can he secure Kiriko? Baby Diva? Secure, oh, secure the trade. What a trade. What a trade. What a sight to see. A Interesting. Trade. I really wonder if that was a worthwhile trade. We see a, a tank, for, a tank DPS. for DPS. Not usually a worthwhile trade, but can we see it? Really some see solid it Sigma in here. Solid Sigma. True. True. Very true. Diva comes back a, quickly. Quickly comes back. That might have been All worth right, it, that trade. May have not been worth it. Looks like GCC will take this third run with an extra defense from yeah, the Sigma and the rest that of the Looks like it may have paid off. It's possible to tell how the match could have gone, but they were able to secure a fair amount of objective. That Diva may have played a little bit too aggressive for that Anza. But we live and we learn, people. We live and we learn. Now we'll be able to see if CGC is able to overtake the same amount of progress at four times the amount of time. We'll see. On Maybe. the strongest map, nonetheless. Maybe. Maybe we'll see a miracle happen for MCC here. And they will actually defense that first point for four minutes. Maybe, maybe not. I'm betting on maybe not. Oh, you never know. It looks like they switched out that Sigma for a ROM. And they're going for a Bastion for MCC. They're going for a Bastion. Looks like they have turret form. They're gonna have to LOS that turret form if they want to survive. Keeping the mercies. My guess is that that MCC's Reinhardt is gonna protect Bastion's turret form while he's firing onto the crowd. So MCC we'll is see. coming in with a, an almost entirely new comp while CGC is sticking with their main strongest DPS and support, just switching up the tank. So we'll see how this new uh, tank plays. Wait, hold on, words are working really great. Give me a moment. I think MCC has the right idea. I think what they were doing wasn't working, and they're doing the smart thing in switching it up. There's nothing wrong with switching it up. Reinhardt's taking down that ROM shield. They're going to the left, left of the, to the right of the statue. But the whole team did not follow that ROM. Oh, Bastion, damn. Bastion is down. Getting revived. We call that this no punch to revive. Mercy is down by the ROM. Rom is down again. Oh, man, There's so a lot of trades happening. on both sides. It's a crazy matchup. So many things are happening. Just like 
Marmelo said it's like a yeah, yeah, Michael Bay yeah. movie out there. Projectiles are flying, explosions are exploding. Looks Revives like CGCC. are happening. Second CGCC point. takes the win for that second game. We're looking at a third game here, people. Yeah, the match, this game score being tied one to one. Absolutely incredible game on both sides. Farah, I, I do believe Farah earned this. She had, they had the best plays in the game. Shutting down that ultimate. Shutting down that Mercy revive. Oh. Getting killed by the Sigma though. I would have picked perhaps this I, for the play. Was that a, Perhaps that wasn't the play we were envisioning. Yeah, was that an environmental kill on the BAP though? That BAP kill, pushing him out of the, in, the invincibility shield and then kidding with Rocket was very good. But that was not the play I was looking at. I was expecting the play where they use their ultimate to take out the whole backline of the squishies. Honestly, both far as were MVPs, to be fair. I agree with that, Morel. I agree with you 110%. DPSs are usually the MVPs of the game. Usually. Oh, I gotta, you gotta give credit, though, to good supports and tanks as well. Gotta give it. This is a team game. Gotta give credit to the whole team. You're right, Morel. Yeah. Team game. Not many people play as a team game, but believe it or not, this is a team game. <laughs> picking a third map. Is the MCC picking third map? And is it? I don't even know what game mode it's gonna be. We don't no. usually hit. Go to the no, third game. It, it, escort. Escort.
Welcome back, people. We're on game three, MCC versus G C G C C. We're playing on Dorado. It looks like we're looking at a. That's uh, a one point. What do you What do you guys think? What's going on? What's going on here? Ah, uh, looks like it's just setting up. This is a pretty interesting map. A lot of different compositions work here. What are you guys' reactions from the last two games we saw? Honestly, I was, really I was really impressed by CGC's ability to be able to retake on the on the second time they attacked uh, in such a short amount of time. That's true. MCC just could not hold that defense long enough. They like, had to hold it for four minutes, though, but... <laughs> Yeah apologies, for my, yeah, apologies for my stuttering. Anytime I say something unsarcastic, there's, I have this condition, and I just, it's horrible. It is horrible. It affects many young people today. Five, four, three, right, looks like they're running a uh, fire mercy. It looks like they're running a fire, yeah, that's true. Morel. A fire mercy looks like it's on the field. Pretty open that's spot. Hanzo's looking for an early spot. That D.Va on the high point. Hanzo's looking for a kill. Trying to get that D.Va pick. Unfortunately not done. They're holding that high ground. See Their cart is just going and going. MCC has to hold that. I'm not sure if they know that. Oh no, that D.Va's holding it. That Sigma was just sitting on the cart for a good while. Is Sigma taking some damage? MCC is having a great defense right now. He's really holding that cart back. That Sigma sure. is almost unmatched. And both tanks are holding the front very well. Very well. Sigma almost down by the death. Mercy got a revive. Mortality field goes down. Both teams are actually keeping their tanks alive. Like that far versus though. doing damage in the back line of MCC. Alright, goes down. Oh, but taking out. Taking out. Back from the brink once. Mercy desperately trying to get out of there. Got out alive somehow. MCC is holding up this point. I got two ults on the ready as well. Ult is on the ready. Both teams again desperately trying to keep the tank in. A very hard task I heard from uh, support players. MCC just did got it taken out. Did put, get pushed back by CGCC. It looks like they are going to take this first point. They got that checkpoint. MCC is desperately trying to. Far is doing good. Okay. I do wonder if any of CGC's success in these matches could be attributed to their support specifically playing the Mercy Baptiste combo, both of whom are incredibly strong right now with their abilities. Three works. It's very good meta, very good. Mercy Mercy and uh, Baptiste, very good meta right now. Yeah, both their Mercies are doing amazing. All supports are doing very amazing. Even their true. team, all of their team, not just their tanks, all of their team. Far goes down. Oh. Oh my Mercy goodness. Mercy just well. got shut down by the Hanzo. Hanzo getting some good picks here. Can he finish after that D.Va? Hold the Mora. We're trying to get to being alive. Or teleported out of there before any damage could be done. Hanzo getting some good picks. Five player kill streak. Holy moly. D.Va trying to stay alive. Looks like checkpoint number two goes to CGCC. Oh my goodness, CGCC is just getting aggressive, aggressive placement from CGCC. 
Looks like it's working out for them because they, they just took two points. Yeah, absolutely. I'd be able. To, I'd be surprised if MCC would be able to defend with this much time on the clock. It would be a miracle. It would be a miracle. Oh, you can believe it in there. Oh, it looks this so was a pick, This map was picked by uh, MCC, though, wasn't it? Also, just cannot get a pick there. And there goes, uh... Like he dropped his window. Overclock and high noon are used. Uh, Alpha's down. The rises chaos, up the, the chaos sacrifice of the mercy. This choke is taking too many lives. Too many lives. Looks like CGCC is oh, gonna try and push. They are down a tank though, we'll have to see if they can. This could be the end of the game. Hanzo getting, trying to get a pick. Farah using that to push him back, using the ultimate to push him back. Diva trying to hold the line. Can she do it alone? Mora picked off by the Hanzo again. Baby Diva on the field. Destroyed immediately. I found the Eva. MCC is desperately trying to hold this point, but just cannot. Unfortunate for MCC for that first round. Let's see if MCC can bring it back on the second. What did you guys think of that first round? I was trying to figure out if CGCC's Hanzo was trying to shoot the soldier and the D.Va got in away. D.Va does make it for a pretty good wall. True. Plus six, too. <laughs> it is hard. That D.Va play is... I'm questioning MCC's D.Va play. I'm wondering if, they would, if they're going to switch this round. Oh, they got a Sombra and a Fire Mercy now. Okay, Sombra in the back line, there's very there's a lot of a lot of hallways and a lot of good areas in this in this map to really kind of go behind an enemy team. And Sombra is an expert in that. That is interesting that there is no main DPS for MCC with this current team bot comp. Can't they get it? No main DPS. Oh my god. <laughs> That's true. Does Farah count? I would say Farah maybe. Far, in, in my opinion, when Farah Mercy normally plays off, they're almost their entire separate team entity. Uh, and then Sombra is normally used in junction with another frontline DPS to cause distraction, looks... where the frontline can then go in and claim. Uh, and there is a short pause. It looks like uh, CGCC's tank has disconnected. For a moment, I, I, I believe this is what the kids call based. <laughs> this may be. There are many definitions for based, and this might be one of them. He's back. The, the only question remains, based on what? Oh, looks like he's back. Now, him leaving the game does reset his stats. So, currently, right now, technically, the tank has done nothing for the team for a whole round. Can he if bring it compare, back? If you compare that ult charge, 0% to the probably half percent for the rest of the team. They're really just absolutely throwing. Absolutely. Half percent's a little generous. This blunder from CGCC, can they bring it back? Uh, on a more serious note, though, they will have to try and see if they're... Junker there. Queen? Five, four, oh, three, Sigma. Three. I, I was going to be... Ah, oh, dang it. Now I want to see a Junker Queen. Oh, we'll have to see me. Sigma slowly making his way to the point. Unfortunate for his team. They're not going to have a tank for the first 30 seconds. Of his team. Farah pressures the top and Sombra gets ready to make a move. Yeah, Sombra taking interested. advantage. Very just to see how this DPS is going to work. That was sneak 100 right there, what that Sombra just did. Looks like nobody focused on the Sombra. Looks like Sombra, Sombra play. Sombra's finally going in. She hacked? Did she take advantage? It looks like she did. No, she did not. They're down two. MCC is down two. Their Mercy might go down here. Without a, without, without a proper DPS switch, I'm not insanely confident in MCC's ability to defend at this moment. 
Oh, Actually, don't underestimate this. Yeah, that's true. We have too much of her. That, that is true. We do need to see how the Sombra is going to play out. That Sombra could be extremely strong, but oh, there's a sure sort of there. limit her ability, her power. It looks like GCCC wasn't defending too hard that, that part in that choke. Maybe that was the strategy, but I don't know. Sombra's putting a lot of pressure on her back line. Diva going for baby Diva. Trying to put pressure on that back line, but he dies doing it. Sigma hacking. Sombra hacking the Sigma. Looks like Diva's dead. Unfortunate for baby Diva. Looks like they were doing a soft reset. Waiting for the tank to respawn. Oh, Lucio. I'm curious to see if they're going to switch out their tank or not. Maybe they're waiting for an ultimate switch. Because they're already at... I would say 64. It may not be worth it to switch tanks at the moment. Also, maybe worth remembering that ultimate switch may not come till overtime. That's true. You're right. You're right. Even trying to do some damage on the back line, but their team is just too coordinated. Let's see if Diva can get in there. Diva looking for a pick, but that Sigma comes for the rest of oh. oh my goodness. Dragon comes in. Hanzo oh, ultimate okay. almost took out the Diva. Not quite though. I'd love to see some great counterplay arise from MCC here. MCC, I'm confident they can get it right. I'm confident oh, yes. they can. And MCC has switched their DPS to include Hanzo instead of Sombra. Oh, Looks like a good switch. Good switch. We love it. We love it. Looks like the Sombra was just not working for them. Unfortunate. Oh, we've got Barrage ready. MCC's Anna just got picked off. What are they going to do with the healing? Gone. Far Mercy trying to do some damage. Just can't do it. MCC is desperately looking for a football game. Or if Farah can get a good ultimate off, this could be a, a winning Parker play. goes up from CC. I believe in you, MCC. Farah. Find it. Find the foothold, Farah. Looking for a barrage, possibly. I think she's... Oh. she's Farah almost sees it. Pushing back to Diva. from CGCC. Oh, and Matrix. Oh, Dragon goes up in front of this guy. Dragon play? Diva, Diva got boosted. Getting in and taking out the Hanzo. Trying to take out the healers. Took out. New picks for Deep. This Diva. Diva both, going in. Both teams dropping almost all of their ultimates. Stay for Diva. The Diva uses it right now. I'm confident. I'm confident this can win. Oh, Diva using yes. her ultimate in the sky. Diva, yes. Not quite, not quite. Uh, it looks like they may have missed time with the booster rockets. Unfortunate, unfortunate. Diva ultimate is sometimes hard to get correct. It is Can't a very difficult them. one to use. I still don't even have the cute spray for that. I could never get it correct for me, personally. Especially against the Sigma, who can put out his shield. Oh. This looks like somebody in the chat saying zero deaths. Oh, is her tank? <laughs> and it looks like, if I am correct, wow. it looks like GCC or CGCC oh, uh, take the win tonight. Yeah. Against MCC. Oh, that well, was. That was that quite was the eventful. nail biter on. Three games. That was. First match went to, I think, MCC. Second went to CGCC. And the third just went straight back to CGCC. Hey, uh, thank you all for watching tonight. Let me remind you that uh, the uh, America uh, Colleges mm -hmm. Esports League is hosting a live stream tomorrow of Rocket League. So be there or be square. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Have a good one.
And congratulations to CGCC. Good night. Cue the outro music.